Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and stream audio from your uh, Ubuntu or Linux computer that has FFmpeg on it to any other computer that may be on your network or may not be on your network. So how I'm going to achieve this is with, as I said, FFmpeg. So I'm going to go over the command that we're going to use. There's nothing else involved other than just FFmpeg. Nothing else to install, nothing else to do. So the F is the type of audio, I'm guessing. Anyways, um, so I'm using my internal sound system. The dash I is the input, so I'm using the pulse audio input. I'm using the uh, MP2 codec as it uses less processing power than the MP3 and results in a lower um, latency. Uh, the less encoding you can do in the codec, the faster, the lower the latency is going to be. And uh, I think the latency is somewhere around a second, second and a half right now with this. So it's not movie watchable, but if you're listening to some music across the house and you just want to do it that way, that's fine. Um, then you have the AC, uh, AC dash one, dash RE, and then the uh, the out is over here. So the, we're going to spit it out to an RTP format, and where we're going to send it. This is the key. So we're going to send it to the RPT, RP, RTP colon backslash backslash uh, 192 da 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 19. So this is the computer that I'm sending it to, not the one that I'm receiving it in. So on the computer that I'm sending this to, I would just type in this address right here, and then it'll pick up that it's being sent traffic, and it'll listen for that, and then it'll connect. Now, how I'm getting the output of my internal audio on here, and I'm selecting the audio, is I'm using the Pulse Audio Manager or Pulse Audio Volume Control. If you don't have this installed, you can install this or you can play with uh, FFmpeg and try and figure out what the heck audio source is your internal one. I don't like doing that, so I just come over here to the ALS. Um, let me go ahead and run this. So now you can see that another one has appeared and it's the FFmpeg one and I can go ahead and mark this as uh, so I can go to monitor of built-in audio stereo and that'll make it so that bam it's doing the audio or I can do uh, built-in audio analog stereo um, just do the monitor that'll be basically what this is or what's being pumped out uh, the, you'll be able to do it that way and that's it and then you can just plug in that address onto your uh, other device right here anything that supports the RTP protocol and you're streaming that's it hope that helps bye